Neighbors in one local neighborhood are asking for more help from San Diego police to help curb violent crime. Today, a man died after he was found with gunshot wounds in the Emerald Hills area. This comes after a woman was found dead in her car two months ago. Fox 5's Kasha Gorchik is live downtown with a message from residents tonight. Kasha. Yeah, Kathleen, a man was found shot at that park just this morning and neighbors tell me it is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to problems at Emerald Hills Neighborhood Park and the surrounding area. Since I've lived here, there's been five murders, probably more that I haven't heard about, but I think two or three in the last year or two. Fox 5 has reported on two murders in the last two months in Emerald Hills. On Mother's Day, a woman found shot dead in her car near the entrance of Emerald Hills Neighborhood Park. Monday morning, it was a man found with gunshot wounds to his upper body in the park's parking lot. We've been promised that police patrols would be added, and I know the police have their hands full, and my heart goes out to them, but we need police here overtime because the crime is escalating. In June, San Diego police reported a 129% increase in gang-related shootings citywide since January 1st. The department says it has stepped up enforcement in response to the recent shootings, but it is also working with community intervention groups to curb the violence. I think there are pockets where there might be individuals with gang activity, but yes, I think it's coming from other neighborhoods. And, and this seems to be, this park right here seems to be one of the, the danger zones where they meet and have a conflict. Marcy Flajol has lived in the area for 10 years and says she's speaking out in hopes of getting some attention to the ongoing crime, not just the shootings. The things that go on in this community would never be tolerated. The trash on the freeway, the messes, the fireworks, the gunshots. We live in a war zone on July 4th here. She and other neighbors ultimately hope even this small ask will be granted. To keep the gate locked. They used to keep the gate locked and these people in this community are leaving leaders have been crying out to relock the gate and they still have not done it. Now, Council Member Montgomery Stepp, who represents the Emerald Hills area, she sent us a statement this evening saying she is working with Parks and Recreation to work on some solutions to address the neighbors' concerns there. Reporting live downtown, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. All right, thank you for bringing it to our attention, Kasha.